really good to have Josh Mertens from Mild Orange uh, on the line or on the Zoom anyway from uh, from Canada. So you're telling me, Josh, that you just you've just uh, landed in Toronto. Yeah, we've just uh, we just driven into Toronto about an hour ago, and I'm standing in a park uh, looking at the big tower. Currently, I don't know what the tower is called. But I've literally just got here. It's really it's amazing. Nice. So w when do you start um, start playing there? Uh, we play tomorrow night. So last night we played a sold out show in Montreal, which was our first ever show in Canada. Um, and we we arrived in Canada like only a few, couple of days ago. Right, it's so it's been quite a blur. Stra straight into <laughs> it, and and that's cool. So yeah. what, what's the sort of audience? Um, what, what was what was the audience like, and how how many people w were there approximately? Uh, like two hundred and twenty people in a, nice. in a packed out club. Um, yeah, and they knew all the words to every song. It was incredible. They, um, it's, I gotta say, well, we all agreed it was like the most like um, they were very respectful crowd, but they, but when they were cheering, it was like deafening. Like they were like the most energetic that we've had on the tour so far, which was pretty cool. How incredible! What a, what a rush to hear them like singing, you know, your words back to you. I mean, you yeah. you, you guys are you guys are flying at the moment, really, aren't you? I mean, things have, have really taken off hugely. Yeah, no, it's it's going really well. So we we've just done ten uh, ten shows in Europe. Um, we finished that on Thursday, um, and here we are in Canada now. And, and Europe Europe was epic. We sold out most of those shows, and that's. We're playing to audiences that were like twice, three times the size of what we did last time in 2019. Um, no, it's cool. Everyone, uh, it's yeah, it's just amazing to be back out in the world doing it again. Oh, I'll bet. You know, I mean, yeah, because because I mean, you've and you had your challenges. I mean, goodness me, that um, that period where you were ill for so long, and then you wrote that fantastic song that came out of that time. Uh, you know, is it this kind of day? and uh, yeah. t talking a lot about, about mental health and I think everyone sort of suffered and, um, and you more than most because, I mean, you, you couldn't do what you, you were not only pre prevented by the lockdowns and things, but you were, excuse that beat, uh, you were, you know, stopped by your health problems as well. Are you feeling really good now, like healthy and completely over that? Yeah, I'm feeling good now. Was, uh, that was like quite a wake-up call because like before then I kind of had this, you know, like young 20s naivety being like I'm bulletproof nothing's gonna stop me and then you get hit with something like that and you're like oh you know better look after myself and um because it really stopped me from being able to you know play shows and write music and just just do basic things like yeah like like breathe it was, it was really hard to breathe for it for a couple of months scary um sorry there's a helicopter flying over it's quite loud <laughs> <laughs> it's not too bad uh, this and, end actually yeah okay uh, and so yeah, yeah. Sorry, the helicopter really distracted me. <laughs> but hey, but hey, the thing is, Josh. Like, I mean, there you go. You write, you write these great songs from from this really low point in your life. Because I mean, I guess you did feel pretty down for for quite a while. Because maybe there was a point where you're thinking, "Man, uh, when am I going to get back to me again?" Yeah, yeah. And so that was like that was a it was a wake up to be like, you know, I I couldn't do the thing I love, but, and so it just made me want it even more and. Uh, and the people around me being so supportive, like the, like the band especially, and my family helping me through it. Um, and it, was, yeah, I don't know. It's it's nice to be able to do that to play music again and do the things I love, and I I cherish it even more now. Um, mm. And I guess like through that whole rough period, I was I was still searching for like light within that dark spot. Um, and so that's yeah, that is what this kind of day is about. Um, that the moment will pass and then it'll make sense. So like the positive that came out of it for me was that I'm really cherishing things a bit more, I'm a bit more grateful and looking after myself and not taking it all for granted. Mm. I guess it's quite hard to look after yourself when you're running around Europe and Canada and things, you know, not yeah. getting a lot of sleep yeah. and what have you, because I mean, you're still, yeah. you're still young and you still want to kind of go and embrace everything that um, being, you know, uh, far away from home yeah. has to offer. I mean, it must be such a buzz. Yeah, it's a weird one on tour. You you lose all sense of normalcy and routine. Like you just have to, you just really have to succumb to it. You have to just throw it out the window and, and go with it. Like you, you don't know when you're going to sleep or eat next. Or 
and you rock up to a city and you might have like an hour to see it but other than that it's like going to sound check and then loading in and then play the show and then you leave it in the morning um so it's a really it's it's really weird when you're on tour and you kind of get into a routine of that mm. which uh yeah <laughs> which is just it, the way it, it, the way you've got to take it but but i guess when when you come yeah. back, like when you ever get back to arrowtown and sort of little sleepy arrowtown you probably uh take a big breath and just really enjoy that slow pace yeah i'm yeah so after the tour i'm going to be back in arrowtown for like a week which is going to be so nice just to chill out <laughs> in the quiet and then back back to london after that because we've uh we've relocated there oh okay so that that's going to be you you for a while yeah yeah we we moved to london back in april after our us tour and um, do you think do you so think the whole it, band is there that, that's that's wonderful i mean i guess it makes perfect sense doesn't it like uh, the the best place for you to base yourselves being such a cultural and musical city yeah, yeah. I, I mean, we're, yeah, we're a bit closer to a lot of the world now, um, and it's it's been like so far, it's been great because the, the four of us all live in different places in New Zealand. Mm. So now we're actually finally in the same city and creating a lot more and working on stuff. Uh, and then, like you know, for touring, we're stones throw away from Europe and the UK and and the states, and we have really awesome fan bases in each of those places. So mm. yeah, we're going to give it a wee crack in the northern mm. hemisphere but yeah we're coming coming back to New Zealand still um at the end of this month yeah let's talk about that because uh Dunedin beckons which is um well the closest one to me I'd love to ca catch you guys there how how um yeah how much are you looking forward to that and and just um you know showing off your new perhaps a worldly experience to to the locals again well I, they're going to be really cool shows because uh, it'll be fun having played back in New Zealand again because we haven't I think we've only played like one show one or two shows in New Zealand this year and before that we'd had quite a few cancelled because of COVID mm. so we haven't actually been able to play in Dunedin for a long time um, and so and by the end by the end of the tour because the New Zealand dates are the last dates on our tour so we're going to be so tight by the end of it I oh. reckon they'll be really good shows I reckon. I mean, by the time you, you hit our shores, I mean, look, all, all the all the shows you're doing at the moment. So, so Canada's qu quite intensive. How, so, it's not till the end of October we see you here. So, what's your schedule like in the next wee while? Uh, so, tomorrow night we play Toronto, and then we fly to Vancouver, and then we'll play Vancouver, Seattle, Portland, and then we're flying to Australia for our first ever time in Australia. Uh, and then we've got a few shows there and then we'll play uh, New Zealand and then back that's, to London. That's exciting getting to Australia. What, what do you know about, about your fan base there? Uh, you know, is it somewhere that you want to work more on sort of infiltrating and, and getting getting heard more widely or? Yeah, yeah. And we have been over the past few years since we started. Like we do definitely have a, um, a pretty passionate fan base in Australia, but we just, you know, like with COVID and and things like that we just haven't been able to get there um and so you know funnily enough the first place we ever played overseas was in hungary in 2019 because mm. we ended up doing the europe tour and then we were planning to australia but then you know COVID hit and then we couldn't do it and then we tried planning again and again still didn't happen and then so we're finally getting there now um and so i think when we get there i mean people have been waiting quite a while so I expect it's going to be a pretty awesome show. Oh, yeah. Which city are you in? Uh, we'll be Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane. Okay, all three. Great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We well, might as well, hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, fantastic. It'll be a nice uh, break up for, for the long trip home as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's not really going to be like a rest. Like, I think we fly, we fly from Portland to Sydney with like – literally one day off just for that flight and then mm. we arrive in sydney and play the sh play the show and bang 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 we play friday saturday sunday in australia all of those dates and then to new zealand so it's gonna be quite full-on <laughs> so, <laughs> that is that is intense but um i guess it's kind yeah. of did you imagine you know when you guys started up back in uh you know when you're at in uni in otago that you get to this point and i mean it's um you know, you're full on. <laughs> I, I don't want to say like, 
I don't want to say like we expected it, but you know, like we've always had the aspiration that this is what we want to do and this is what we've signed up for. Mm. And you know, we've we've worked really hard to to make this our reality. So, um, but yeah, I, uh, I guess, you know, this is what we always wanted to do. So we, we had that insight and we've tried to make it happen. And, you know, thankfully people enjoy what we do, which is cool. Um, mm. yeah, and we can do it. So it, it, yeah, it, without, without the, the people who found us and listened to us and enjoy it, we wouldn't be able to do this. So yeah, yeah. very grateful yeah. that we can. I've always loved your name. I think uh, orange is a favorite color of mine. I think it, it is, uh, it, it's kind of, um, it, it's the contrast to have the mild and then the orange in there. But do you still feel that, that uh, you're, you're enjoying the milder side of music or has London changed you in some way? And, and what, what kind of stuff you want to play? Uh, so I've always thought like about the, you know, the mild orange, like orange is, uh, I'm, I'm very optimistic and same with the rest of the band. We're very optimistic and, um, we want to uplift people, which is what orange is quite well known for. Um, it's a very warm color, but then like with the mild part, it's because we're not too over the top with it. Like we still dabble into not, you know, we still dabble into the dark side, you know, I think with mm. like a song like this kind of day, but, but it always has that orange vibe to it, the warmth and the upliftingness to it. Yes. It's always like a silver lining. Yeah. Um, and so I guess that, we have just been living that forever. So uh, we even, yeah, in London, we still live the mild orange life. <laughs> I don't know how to say that without sounding really corny, but like, yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know. Orange is like everywhere in our lives. And yeah, I think we pick up on it quite. We're quite attuned to it. Yeah, which is good because you chose a name that totally is very apt for, you know, for, for all of you. So oh, it, it's, um, yeah, it's exciting. And, and like you say, you don't mind dealing with the darker issues and the, and the more melancholy side of life, but you do it in a way that doesn't bum people out. <laughs> yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> you know, to put it, to put it in a very Kiwi way, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I'm not, not just going to skip over it. It's not all um, sunshines and rainbows, but um, yeah, you can, you can always, there's always ways of seeing things. Yeah. yeah, and it's funny because a lot of people um, describe music critics describe your songs as sort of breezy and jangly as well. So there's there's that side to you, you know, as well as the more slow, moody kind of feel. Uh, but yeah. do do you think you still sound uh, quintessentially Kiwi? Uh, we've always had, so we've always like maintained like the uh, from New Zealand for the world. Like we've always yeah. had like a universal. Uh, listenership in mind. Um, so, but I, I undoubtedly we're inspired by Aotearoa. Um, it, yeah, it, it, it feeds us a lot with our writing process, being out in nature and mm. uh, just the amount of space and room to breathe that we have in New Zealand um, mm. and how we've grown up. Uh, so I think, yeah, so we're, we're making music from New Zealand for the world. Yeah, beautiful, and representing our country very, very well. You know, you've been to some incredible. Did you go to? You played in Poland, didn't you? Recently. Yeah, we played our first show there. Yeah, we played our first show in. Uh, well, it was like Tuesday last. It's such a blur. So we, we've just played <laughs> ten shows in fourteen days in Europe, just driving wow. around in a van. Yeah. Um, and most of them, yeah, most of them sold out. Like, we played our first ever Poland show, and that was in Warsaw, mm. which. You know, I had never really imagined we'd be playing there and have such passionate fans, but we do. Mm. We rocked up and, like, you know, uh, uh, you know, they don't speak as much English as some of the other European countries, and they knew all the words still to every song. Just like, as well. <laughs> oh, good, good cool. for you. You must all stand up there and, and look at each other and go, "Yeah, this is good." It's just like. We're just like grinning like ear to ear all night, and yeah, I'm not I'm not afraid to share it with the crowd either. Like you know, like like we're so stoked to be here. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, well, you know, they're feeding <laughs> off your your good feelings, and so it's a, yeah. it's a nice big warm hearted yeah. kind of kind of vibe, which is good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, yeah, our, our live our live show really goes like, up and down. It gets like it can be quite edgy at times, but it's also like got to stop and have like a big like smile, like. Like this is pretty cool what we're doing right now, and thanks 
it's for all fine now. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Oh, I'm so happy for you that, that everything's going so great. <laughs> and um, yeah, so it'll be nice to welcome you home for a brief time, Josh. And um, hey, all the best with everything. We'll, um, we'll wind it up there and I'll, I'll let you get on with uh, preparing for tomorrow night in Canada. Cheers. Thank you. Yeah. Josh Merton's there in a pre-recorded Zoom uh, this morning. Uh, he is uh, headed to Montreal, as you heard him say, and uh, on the mild orange uh, tour through Canada. And the guys are going to be returning back to our shores at the end of this month. Uh, they're starting a four-date national tour in October uh, this month, uh, 2022, uh, performing their new third album, which is called Looking for Space. Actually, you know, you should hear what Rolling Stone says uh, says about this, mag- uh, this, um, this uh, album. Uh, they say it's the band at their luscious best. I think luscious is a great word to describe them. Uh, They've got sold out dates, uh, like Josh said, all around the world and uh, fans really warming to them. So they're excited to bring bring the show home. And uh, I'm just going to give the date for the Dunedin shows, seeing as we're a southern based radio program. Uh, So they're playing Dive Bar on the 23rd of October in Dunedin. And you can get your tickets from www.mildorange.com. And it is, of course, the Looking for Space Tour, and that'll kickstart at about 7.30. Should be a great night in Dunedin. Hope you get a chance to see them.